cute brands cost money. They cost money, lots of money, and something you don't even see when you're when you're branding on a cute brand. I'm gonna explain in a second here. But first, hey, Chris Zyke with Media Options, help companies to acquire the wrong version of their brand. Broken some of the best domain names on the planet. Check that out over at mediaoptions.com. Check out chrisecker.com. Check out dnx.com. Check out my YouTube channels, my podcast. A lot of good information on domainings. <clears throat> Story today is this. Cute brands cost money. Um, you know, one of the things we see with some of these startups that are getting funding is that uh, in the beginning, they don't own a, or, or they go with a domain name that's misspelled uh, and that just creates confusion, right? So they add the get or the my. In this case, this brand had two A's in the brand, okay? I was broken a domain once and it had three O's in the brand. And I'm like, hey, like you're creating so much confusion with your brand. Now, the, the thing is, is that these startups think they're saving money and because they hand registered it, but there's a reason why it was available to hand register. In this case, they're also using a new TLD, okay? So they, they not only had the issue with having to explain their brand, it's a misspelling of a, of a word because it has an extra letter, but then they're using a TLD, which actually creates more confusion. Now, uh, what happens is that these companies say, well, hey, we saved money, we got this you know, register, we're putting it into our marketing and people, and it's like, yeah, I get it, that's awesome, right? I mean, you want to save money as a startup. You wanna bootstrap it, but it can't, I mean, it shouldn't come at the expense of your brand. And there's several reasons why, okay? So in this instance, they will have to say forever, okay, hey, I know we, it sounds phonetically this, but you have to have two A's to it. So make sure that you're going there. And oh, and by the way, go to this uh, other extension, .io, .ai, whatever, because we don't own the .com. Now, what do, you think that, what do you think that does to your marketing? What do you think that does to trust, okay? Um, it's not that they're not gonna get conversion, but it has a, a significant impact on their ability to scale. There's gonna come a po point in time where they need to scale and they need to, um, you know, that funding is gonna be drying up and they're gonna hit the ceiling, okay? And the ceiling is there because it's just how domains work today and brands work today. They are the foundation and they're fundamental to a brand, okay? You think about all the different areas that a domain name impacts, customer service, accounting, um, sales, right? Your product fulfillment, how they log into you, how they find you, right? Word of mouth, you know? In this case, you're asking your customers when they're sharing who they use, they have to make all these verbal jumps. Hey, okay, I know it's this is the brand, but you know, make sure that uh, you put the extra A in there or the extra O in there. And also it's, <laughs> it's this other TLD. And that costs money, okay? Customers reward simplicity and it's rewarded with trust, okay? It's a fundamental aspect of brand equity. And so, uh, you know, I often, when I talk to founders in this instance, it's like, I get it. I understand what, why you did it. You had to save money and you're just trying to like prove your concept out and you got it proved out and you got this funding. But at some point you have to grow up. And at some point you wanna be taken as a real player in the industry. Now, uh, a different conversation I had this morning with another uh, company and they didn't own the raw version of their brand. Um, you know, one of the things we were talking about is this, uh, well, I'm losing my train of thought here, but they had, you have to grow up. You, like there's gonna come a point in time where you need to scale and you don't wanna be looked at as a startup. Well, I know I was going, this, the thought of industry positioning and it, how industry positioning is how do you stack up to your competitors, okay? And most times we hate, well, hey, Chris, we, got the, we have the trademark for this. I said, but no, no, you don't understand what I'm saying, okay? No one is going to brand on that unless it's a, it's a, um, you know, it's a category defining word then you know, the sky's the limit, right? But no one's gonna brand on that. But your customers, depend upon your price tag, they're gonna, they're gonna say, hey, well, what else is out there, okay? And some companies say, hey, give me three quotes of other companies, let's see how this stacks up. And when they go, they're gonna see other companies that have a clear path, that have created simplicity, okay? And that look more trustworthy than you. And that's gonna impact conversion. And you're actually gonna drive, you're, you're, you're miss, A, you're missing conversion, because other company, you know, the, your clients, your best client is actually going to, uh, and looking and saying, well, okay, yeah, great. I like the concept, I need a solution here, but I see this other company, they look more trustworthy, so I'm gonna go with them. And you don't realize that. And that's why branding and domain names are important. Like, you know, to make a cute brand, I mean, there was, there was, there was fit trends that went through that people did that, and it's a reason why they rebranded, because it didn't work. <laughs> it didn't create simplicity. It, you know, it created confusion that impacts your marketing, that impacts your conversion, that impacts your trust, okay, it impacts your traffic, it impacts your email. 
impacts all these things and you end up having to communicate your brand in a negative light. Hey, we're this, not this, okay? And that's every interaction that you have. Now think about that, okay? Think about the customer journey. Think about what that implies for your brand. Every time your customer service is on, hey, make sure you're looking for this. Uh, if you're using a different TLD, hey, make sure it doesn't go to spam. Okay, some have worse scores than others. You can go to my chrisiger.com. did a blog on one of the TLDs. Not gonna mention it because I don't wanna get some, some hate here, but uh, it's an impact, okay? It's real. Sim customers reward simplicity. And you know, many of these companies, when they get ready to grow and they grow up and they have things, they realize, hey, we have to, we have to change because this isn't working. And I've actually heard that exact phrase from different startups like, hey, Chris, you know, we realize that we gotta grow up. We can't be a startup forever. And part of that process is owning the raw version of, of our brand. If you, if you need help with this, we do about 50% of our business in stealth acquisitions. Reach out to me, love to help you, um, and hope you found value in this.